Hey Pro Stylers, Mike here. So I wanted to show you a quick video. 10 things you probably didn't know Pro Styler can do. Now some of you might know all of them, some of you might not know any of them, but there's a lot of things inside Pro Styler that are often overlooked. So I wanted to actually show you them. So, number 10, you can insert widgets inside the page builder. Let me jump in and show you. So inside any page you've got inside Pro Styler theme, you can actually insert a widget. So if you click insert element, you'll notice there's a drop down on the top left. If you select widgets, you can actually insert any widget that you want. So let's say you want to add a search, I can plop a search in there, scrap the title, click save, save the page. Well, I really don't know where I've put this, so it might not look any good, but it's just to show you. There you go. You've got a search bar. So that's tip number 10. Insert widgets anywhere you want by going insert element, widgets. You can quickly delete a page's content. So let's say that you've got a page and you want to scrap everything on this page. Instead of sitting there, deleting it row by row, just switch to classic editor. Select it all and hit delete. Go back to the Glow Builder and there you go, you've got a nice fresh page so you can start adding again. Number eight, you can use short code tags for logos, tap to call, maps and more. So this is something that's usually overlooked but I'm going to show you this now live in action. So anything that you set in these Pro Styler options, you can actually use a show code tag to display them such as logo. Let's say you've got map coordinates here that you want to reuse, you can reuse them. So I'm sure you how to do that. Inside the page builder, click insert element, then select text. And you'll see this here, view supported short tags. So I'm just gonna copy all of them, paste them in. Now, just delete them too. So you've got site logo, site logo URL, phone, email, social icons. So if you've got social icons actually set up in here, like so, that will actually output social icons. I'll we'll just save changes to that. And then refresh the preview. So you've got social icons here. Okay, the RSS feed, using the RSS tag. Tap to call, using the phone tag. Email tag, tap to email. RSS feed icon, and then your copyright notice. You can literally drop these anywhere you want so that it makes using ProStyle a lot more intuitive. So if you update the logo, it'll update on your entire site. If your phone number changes, you can change it on the entire site using these short tags. Now, again, this also works with maps. So if you insert a Google map, I'm just gonna delete this second one here. Let's open this up. View supported short tags. So you've got map latitude. I can paste that in here. And then you've got map longitude. Copy that, paste that in here. And that will load your coordinates from the Pro Style theme options. You can disable items from showing on mobile phones. Now this is especially handy if you're using spaces. So let me jump in. Okay, so if we select insert element and then we select spacing and gap. I'm gonna overemphasize this, so I'm gonna put in a 500 height. Now you'll see this option disable on mobile on small screens. If you select yes to that, and then we save that, save the page. You'll see now we have a gap. So when we go into responsive view, like so, you can see the gap vanishes. So this is especially handy for making it look good on a desktop by like spacing out your rows and stuff like that, but ensuring that it still looks good on mobile. Now you can also do this for elements as well. So if you go to an image, 
or head in any element, select edit, and select advanced. You'll see at the bottom, hide on mobile and small screens. You just flip that to yeah. And when it's being viewed on a mobile or a small screen, it'll stop that element from showing. You can animate almost any element inside the page builder. So let me jump in and show you that. So let's say you want to animate this image. I'm going to click edit element. I'm going to go to styling and you'll see appear in animation. Now we've got about, we've got five in here at the minute. We don't want to fill it with, cause when you've got a page that's got too much going on, too many animations hitting you in the face, it just distracts the user. So we've got five core animations. You can have it slide in like so, and you can change the speed if you wanted to do it fast, slow, etc. And you can do this on any element. There's an image, so let's say you want the heading to do it. Click edit, styling, appear in animation, slide in from left, bam. You can extend the WYSIWYG editor for more options. Now, I didn't realize just how much of a quick tip this is. I just always took this for granted that everyone knew about this. So I've decided to include it. So let me show you how to do that. So let's insert an element and then let's insert a text element. Now, a lot of you will have this editor, it's just one line and it's got this on it. Now you'll notice this icon toggle toolbar. If you click this, it gives you a ton more options. Like you can change text color, you can underline it, you can put it in H tags. So that's a handy little tip. Again, if yours look like this, just click toggle toolbar and you get the second row. You can set your colors so they show in every color picker. Now, again, this is something that's so handy and not everyone takes advantage of. So inside your pro style of theme options and then theme colors, you've got two different colors here. You've got theme primary and you've got theme secondary. Now, any colors you set in here will show anywhere you need, anywhere a color picker shows so that you can quickly use your colors over again to help you build your page out. So let's say on this image, I wanted to add a background color. I want to go to advanced, wrap a background, bam, there's our blue. And then there's our darker blue. So any colors that you set in theme primary and theme secondary here, show in every color picker throughout ProStyler. Tip number three, you can save templates and load them into a new page to use again. Again, this is such a handy, handy feature. So let's say we want to reuse this template on a new page. Page template, save as new template. I want to call it home copy, click save. Now if I go to add new page, and I call this EG home copy. Click the WP Glow Builder. You'll see this drop down again, page template. Click load template. And there's our save template. Click it, open it up. And that now has given us an exact copy of the page we've just made. So if you've made a page and it's custom, instead of rebuilding it every time, save it as a template, load it up, and away you go. You can add a row to an existing page with this quick tip. Now, this isn't an ideal way of doing it, but it's a quick way of copying an entire row to another page. So let me jump in and show you that. So let's say we want to copy this services we, services we provide, all of this text, images, and buttons. All you need to do is scroll up to the top, save it as a template, as I've just showed you. Then add a new page. Like so, call it home copy, like so. Load that template in. Now we don't want to use the original template because obviously you're going to delete everything and then it'll all be gone. So do a copy like I've just showed you. And then just delete the bit you don't want. Like so, delete, delete. Just keep deleting. And 
and as you can see here space there, services we provide so we want to keep all them rows I'm just going to delete all the stuff from the bottom now because we don't want that delete delete just keep deleting so that all you've got left at the end is the bit that you want to put on a new page so we want this stuff to be kept so if I just save this key save this page you'll see now that we have just what we want this so here's how you add it to another page classic editor select all copy and now let's go find a page to put it in I'll leave this page let's say we want to put it in our proper home page click edit Now all you need to do is go classic editor, scroll right to the very bottom, and then paste. Now what that does is that adds everything we've just made to the bottom of our template. So if we scroll right down, you'll see here services we provide. So let's say we want to put it just above the copyright. We can just move our stuff up like so. I actually copied more than one row, but that's just so you can see, you can actually take big chunks of a page. There we go. Now if I update that, we should have two service sections. One that we just copy and pasted right at the bottom of the page. So there's our first one. Scroll down. And there's the second one. So that's how you can copy and paste rows instead of having to redo every element or copy each element individually. Now you can also copy elements from one page to another individually. So let me show you how to do that. So it's quite easy. Let's say we want to copy duh, 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 this icon. So I'm going to click edit. I want to select show code. Copy to clipboard. So I'm going to close that now. Let's say we want to put it here. Insert elements. In this drop down, select page builder shortcode. And just paste it in. And select add elements. And there we have a copy of that element all set up the way it was. You can do that with any element. Bonus tip. You can create custom heading tags. So, if I edit a heading, this one, you already know that you can make it a custom size, a custom font, um, like so. But you can also wrap it in whatever H tags you want. So we can wrap this in it under tag. We can wrap it under a H1. So it'll keep the format exactly as you made it, but it'll let you use different H tags to wrap around it. This is ideal for SEO, so if you want a keyword in a H1 tag, design it all you want, bam. And it saves having your page look out of place if you've got a massive title on a H1 tag. Now you can wrap it in a smaller tag, like welcome to my um, company name, my keyword. You can keep it in and design nice in your page content and still use the correct heading tags. So one more bonus tip before I go is you can add a background to almost any element that you want. So I click edit on heading and then I go to advanced. You'll see wrap a background color. So we can put a background color on that like so select our color. We can add some padding to make it fit more in the box. EG 20 each side. And one of the things we can do is we can actually round the corners. Like so. And if you want, you can even put a border on it. So I'm going to go red so you can see. And we can have dotted, dashed, groove, ridged. I'm going to go dashed. And then we just put in our border size. So two pixels or one pixels. And there you go. We've got a nice border. 
So hope you found this video useful. I wanted to give you these quick tips because I use a lot of these all the time and I, and I think, and I just assume that you will all know it. So I thought I'll just shoot you a quick video and let you see for yourself. So with that said, thanks for your time. Be sure to sign up for the webinar on the link below. On Friday, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom themes. There's websites out there where people are posting jobs regularly for people to convert PSD and image files into websites for them. And once you've done the training with me Friday, where I show you how to build a completely custom website with ProStyle Theme, you can start offering this as a service. Two or three of them jobs a day, and you're making up to $750 plus dollars a day. So be sure to register, because I'm going to show you exactly how to get started and build these custom templates. Thanks for your time. Bye for now.